A Minnetonka man and a Minneapolis woman are charged with the attempted robbery and shooting of an Edina doctor. The shooting happened inside the parking rat at M Health Fairview Southdale Hospital two weeks ago. The 45-year-old doctor from Egan was shot in the head after a brief struggle. Police arrested 33-year-old Matthew Rush for robbery, assault with a dangerous weapon, and attempted murder. 50-year-old Lucinda Peterson is charged with robbery and aiding an offender. Reg Chapman has more on what led to their arrest. It was inside the west parking ramp of Fairview Southdale Hospital in Edina where gunshots rang out. According to the criminal complaint, the victim arrived at the hospital for work when he was approached by a man tapping on the car window asking to use his cell phone. He got out the car and handed the man the phone. That man then dialed a number, handed the phone back, and then pulled out a handgun and pointed it at the victim. Court papers say Matthew rushed. Rush then told the victim to get in the car and threatened to kill him. The report says the victim grabbed for the gun and that's when it went off. The victim fell to the ground. Rush ran away. The victim noticed he was bleeding from his forehead and was able to get inside the hospital for help. Surveillance video captured images of Rush standing in a stairwell before the shooting. It also showed a silver car with a large dent on the passenger side driving away from the area after the shooting. After several leads, investigators noticed a car outside a Bloomington hotel. Rush was arrested. He was inside the car. Peterson was arrested inside the hotel room. Also in the room, investigators found what's believed to be methamphetamine and clothing that matches what Rush was wearing the night of the shooting. Phone numbers used to make hotel reservations show that both Peterson and Rush's phones were in the area of Fairview Southdale Hospital when the incident happened. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. Both Rush and Peterson are set to make their first court appearance tomorrow.